in this lesson we will continue contour machining and to discuss next section stock contours I use another example and if you want to machine this contour you will get toolpath like this okay and in this example we have an air cutting in many places and we can limit this machining to selected geometry for example edit this operation geometry tab select the stock contours section and now we can specify the geometry that will limit the toolpaths for example we can indicate the outer contour of this model and click OK and we will get toolpath like this and this toolpath will be trimmed and connected to the next one and this option can avoid uh, traveling in the air with feed rate movements here we have rapid movements between passes and what's more at first will be machined areas where the toolpath is trimmed and then entire contour around I'll show you simulation okay first I'll show you without the stock contours option okay run simulation okay here we have an air cutting and only few places where tool removes material okay now let's set this operation select stock contours option with this geometry as a limit okay and run simulation okay At this point do not pay attention to the collision and the tool has a float smaller than the milling depth. In some situations toolpath and machining time may be shorter using the stock contours option. It's worth remembering about this option. Okay close the simulation and let's go back to the previous example. Next options of the contour machining we will discuss in the next video.